everyone, it's Vicky. Today I want to work on some jewellery. So, I found these split rings in my stash. And, let's see, they are 7 millimeters. So what I thought I'd do today is make a necklace. And I'm going to use up my split rings. And I'm going to use up some eye pins. So let's join on this. There it is. So get some eye pins here. And these eye pins are... Let's measure them quick. Um, 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters. So those and an eye pin, hope you can see that, it's a stick with a circle at the end. Looks like an eye. So I got those. That is for something else. And that is for something else. And for this one, I'm doing seaside things for this next season. So I wanted to use some beads that look like shells. And I've got those. See if I've got any more. I keep all my blues together. Okay. So I really like the big ones, but I see I don't have a lot of those. Let's see, I might have enough for a necklace. Might not. What I might do is alternate these ones with these ones. Um, I think these are turquoise or something. I think it's a semi-precious stone. And these are seashells. So I will start putting them onto these pins and just lining them up and seeing how I get on. And I just love these, they look like the ocean. Okay, so I've got all my beads on these eye pins and now I'm going to cut, I'm going to leave about a one centimeter length there and I'm going to cut the end off with those pliers, they've got a cutter on them. Then I use my round nose pliers and I'm going to just bend that backwards. So I'm going to hold the, the wire at the top and I'm going to bend it backwards into a loop and sometimes you just have to squish it a bit because it goes weird. And there you go, there's that one. And what I think I'll do first is I'll, I'll do all these first. I'll bend the wires back and make a loop. So there's a loop on both sides. And then I will join them together with those split pins. So I'll do it again to show you. I use my finger as a guide. Sorry about the car noise. <laughs> and so I've got a one centimeter length there. I'm just going to grab the end with my pliers and as you go closer to the end your circle will get smaller because they go narrower so I, I go in that far it's about three or four millimeters and that gives me a nice size loop there Okay, so all my beads are prepared and now I'm going to take this one. I've arranged them so it's um, those turquoise stones and shells alternating so I don't have to worry about that. So I've got my first shell bead and I'm going to open that first loop. I'm going to slip on a split ring and then I'm going to close it again. Now I'm going to take my next one, which is a turquoise stone, and I'm going to open that, and I'm going to put it on the other side of that split ring. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to alternate between shell, split ring, stone, all the way until I've used up all these beads here.
Okay, so I've finished my necklace and you can see it looks quite light, I think, in summary. All those extra loops have just made it um, a lighter looking chain and let's measure it. So we're looking at 65 centimeters and what I'll do, because it's big enough to just go around my neck, I'm just going to join those last two together. And there you have it. A really pretty little summer necklace. And I think that'll look beautiful for summertime. You could also use the same idea to make a bracelet. I mean, you could use that as a bracelet. That would look great. But you could do the same thing and you could make it um, shorter. So if you've only got a few beads, this is the way to make them stretch. Isn't that lovely? So I'll give you a still shot now of what it looks like. But I'm really happy with that. So something quick and simple. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye.